Welcome to Board Game Empire. We're going to be showing you a how to play and full playthrough of the game Momiji. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, this was out on um, Kickstarter last year, um, so it's a fairly new game. I will say um, up front, the rule book's a little vague in some areas, so we've um, watched it. There's no um, English language playthroughs. There's English the English language how to plays, but they're also vague. They basically were just reading from the rule book. So we watched several international YouTube videos. We although we couldn't understand what they were saying, we could see the actions and just to confirm. And so we are ninety eight percent sure we know the the um, we could fill in the gaps of those a couple of missing things in the rule book. Um, they just didn't clarify a few things, so it was a little vague. And I noticed on Board Game Geek, there were people asking the same questions we were wondering. Um, and so, so hopefully this will clarify for anyone that's questioning <laughs> those two roles in this book <laughs> of how to play. Um, and before we start, if I could please ask, please, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe to our channel. We are so close to 3,000 subscribers. It's killing me. It's been, so we're just eek it up. So that will be a very exciting milestone when we reach 3,000 subscribers. So hopefully you enjoy our content and want to subscribe um, and are already subscribed. We do, a, as you know, a lot of playthrough of every game. We do the unboxing, playthrough, and review um, of every game we receive. And we've got 80 some games still to do that to, uh, publishers have sent us. So we have a lot of Kickstarters and new games, so hopefully that's um, enticing enough to want to subscribe to us and watch our videos. Thank you again. Um, so now we'll get started. So basically, this is a card drafting game set collection where you are trying to get, we have in a two player game, there's only four leaf types. In a four player game, there's all six leaf types and the leaf types are different colors. So we have, the, I think we have green, yellow, red, and brown. Yeah. And we left out purple and orange are not in the game. So first thing you're going to want to do is pull out the leaf sets based on your player count, and that is in the book in the setup. You are also going to pull out four objective tokens with the number of players plus two. So we have four of them. These are public object objective tokens that you will be buying with acorns so you own it. So the way you do that, it's a, um, it can be one of your actions. There's three man, there's three actions that you can take. You, want, you have to do at least one. You can only do one and you have to do at least one of those three actions. Um, and then there's two optional actions. One of the mandatory, uh, one of the three actions, I guess just to say, is activating an, an objective. And what you do, you pay three acorns to the supply and you choose which one you think you would probably be able to achieve. The ones that we have here, the person with the most acorns wins that one. This one is the person with the most cards in their green leaf set pile. This one is the one with the most Tory symbols or tokens on top of their pile. The way you get those is by closing your pile. Once you put a three, it's closed. You can't put any more cards on top of a three, even another three. So you would um, put a Tory token on top of that to say it's closed. And so the person that has the most of those will get that objective. And this one is the person with the most zeros in their piles. So just because you own it does not mean you get the points. You get more points if you happen to achieve an objective and you bought it for the three acorns. So say I purchased this one for three acorns. So I own it. If I achieve that and have more acorns at the end of the game than Anthony, I will get 10 points. If Anthony has more acorns than I do at the end of the game, even though I own it, I get zero and he gets three points. So that's the reason you want to buy these and hopefully you are the owner. If there's a, a tie, then um, in a two player game, this wouldn't be relevant. Um, normally in a tie, all players get three points that 
if they are tied. However, if one of them owns the token, they would get the 10 points and the other player would get the three points. Hopefully that makes sense. So that is one of your actions. The other action you can take is taking a pile from the display. You start the game out with four cards. Since they're the same color, they just stack on top of each other. If these were different colors, let me find the other color. Well, no brown coming out anytime soon. So if they were all four different colors, you would do four different piles. I'll put that brown on top so we'll have a brown coming out. I might up. <laughs> but since they're the same color, you just stack them on top of the same color. Um, and then when you take a, le a pile from the display, you have to take the whole column, unless there's a landscape card that allows you to do otherwise, but I will get to that in just a second. So you always start out with four cards. So you can take a pile, one pile only from the display, or we all we start with six cards. You could play up to two numbers from your hand, and this is one of the confusing rules. It did not specify in the book. This is what was very confusing to us. How many cards do you play? It just says it says play two or more leaf cards of different types. Okay. So, or play one or two leaf cards of the same type, meaning of the same color. So when we found, when we watched these videos, we figured out you could play two numbers. So say you have three, I don't have, let me just go look in here. Okay, so say I have two zeros and a, I, say I already have these piles out here. Okay, so I have two zeros I played in a previous turn. So then, so that would be my, I could play that, so I could play those two zeros. I'm trying to find a, I could play two cards on the same stack, so those two ones, and I will explain how this works in just a moment. I could play, it's not easy finding the cards I'm looking for. Probably should prepare before. I could also play, so say I want to play, okay, say these are already out there, so it's my turn next time. I'm going to be playing four cards, but if you notice, it's two numbers. It's two ones and two zeros, right? Mm -hmm. So you could play two cards or if you have sets of the same number that could be played based on the rules I'm going to tell you in just a moment, you could play those. It's rare that you will have more than three cards that you could play, but just know that you can do it, but it's two numbers. You play two numbers, um, and by, you have to follow the rules. So the, the number... The leaf piles go zero through three. There's more zeros than threes. I think there's five zeros. There's, where is the number there? There's five zeros, four ones, three twos, and only two threes. So they, as the numbers go up, the amount of them go down in the deck. So it gets harder to close if, um, Say he got two threes of one color, he got all the threes and he discarded it. I would never be able to get that card because the discard pile is out of bounds. I, unless there's a landscape card that we haven't came across, there's no way to get cards out of the discard pile that I've seen. So, so you always have to play your piles in a sequential order from zero, one, two, three. You can play another zero on top. You could keep playing as many zeros as you want, but once you've played a one, you can't go backwards back to zero. Then you either have to play a one or a two on that stack from here on out. But once you play a three on the stack, so then you would go two and then three, and that would close the stack. You would put a Tory token on top of it. You can only put one three on a stack, even though you could put any number of zeros, ones, or twos, as long as they're in sequential order, you can keep doing that. And the reason you're gonna to wanna to do that at the end of the game, we're gonna be counting 
whatever we're multiplying whatever the value of the top card is times the number of cards. So this would be worth 15 points, three times five. So that's one of your scoring mechanisms at the end of the game is the more cards you have in your pile, the more points you're gonna get. So that's a reason you would want to do that. I'm gonna have to redeal myself cards. <laughs> um, or actually, did I leave my hand? I did, I left it over. Okay, so the other action, so that was one, Picking up, the, I did the three actions. You can activate an objective, pick up a pile from the display, or play two cards or two numbers if you have multiples of the same number that can be played. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, the optional actions you can do are to discard any two cards. What are you doing? Those are two cards. Oh, <laughs> you can discard any two cards from your hand into the discard pile to collect one acorn token. So that's a way to get acorns. There's also, um, you receive acorns. I didn't talk about this. Sorry, I need those again. When you're doing your little, your sets, if you happen to get lucky, so say here's zero and a one, you notice there's acorns on the left or right. Some of them have acorns on both the left and right. If you happen to get lucky and do a pile, Hopefully matches up. Oh, this one already has it. Here we go. This one. Okay, so if you match up acorns. So say I played, I had these two zeros down. Right there, they don't match. And it doesn't matter if you play the cards in different turns. As soon as you match them, so you could see, I played that one on top of that zero, and this one's still a zero. The two acorns are side by side. I would get two acorns right at that moment to put in my supply. Um, you can't move piles once you've placed them, so you're going to hopefully get lucky unless and match the acorns. Unless you have a landscape card, I'll get to that in a second, with an ability that allows you, there is one that allows you to shuffle your um, piles around. But the default rule is you cannot move them once you've placed them. So when you place a color down, that's where it stays, that pile. You can't have more than one color leaf pile. You, so there's four leaf pot, four leaf colors in a two-player game. We could only have four piles, one of each color. So if you've passed zero in a like, say you've got you've played your yellow and one, or your yellow zero and one, and you happen to draw another yellow zero, that card is useless to you. So that would be a good candidate to discard for acorns. Um, the discarding for acorns and the Activate an ability is your optional actions. They do not cost you an action. So you can do those anytime during your turn, but you can only do each one once per turn. So your landscape, we already, why do you have your so high up? <laughs> the landscapes we already um, drafted. In a beginner game, you can deal out the A, B, and C. As you can see, they have letters on the left of them. Um, you can just deal with each player the same landscape cards of A, B, and C. We decided to do it um, how, you're, how you do it once you know the game, which is where you deal three out, you draft, keep choosing until each player has three. So the ones that I received was, I can take, let me make sure, these are new ones, so I want to make sure I'm telling you right. Um, and they're, they're in the book. These are just, the only rules that were vague were how many, what you, how many you could play at a time. That was really the only vagueness that we didn't see and how many Tory tokens you have um, to close your piles. There's actually four more that we put in the box because the videos we saw, they were only using four of these in a two player game. So we decided we would um, stick with that because that's an end game trigger. We will honor their tradition. <laughs> that's an end game trigger. The game ends when you run out of these to close your piles or when this deck runs out. At that point, both players get to play one additional turn and then you do your scoring. So back to this landscape. This one is you take the top leaf card from one column in the display. So I would take this card and I get to take two acorns from the stock. So that's a good one because these acorns are worth one point each at the end of the game. 
And these pink acorns are worth five. Um, so that's a, that's a good one. This one, and that's this one right here, the F, the L, um, I can take, do you want to show them that one? Discard as many cards as you want from your hand. Take one acorn per card. So that's really good. You normally only get one acorn. You can only normally discard two cards and you only get one acorn, but you get one per card and you also get two additional acorns from the general stock. So that's a really good one. To activate those, you have to put an acorn on top of it. And you can put as many as you want, like you can keep activating them. There's no limit. You just have to, you can only do it once per turn and you have to have an acorn to activate it. This one, A, that's a, that one's where you can choose to play leaf cards in your personal area as your main action. You can skip a number. So remember I told you, you have to go zero, one, two, three. Well, with this one, I could go zero to two or one to three. I could skip a number, but keep in mind, that pile is going to be worth less points at the end of the game because it's going to have less cards. So it's kind of a toss up. And this allows me to pick from two different piles at max of four. So I can pick from two different piles and I'll be able to just so can I can take do three two full or columns. one. So, right. This one, I get to pick four from the deck and get to keep one. Three. You get to uh, keep three. You just three. card one. Yeah. That's a good one. Okay, and I forget what this one is. Uh, okay, that one is if you decide to collect cards as your main action, collect up to three of the top cards. Oh, three of the top cards from different columns of your choice. So he can choose one from three different columns, a top card, which is also really good if you need several different colors in your to complete sets. That would be a great card. So. You don't activate these a lot. I will say we probably only activated ours once or twice. Well, we play with the basics, so. Right. This is, uh... We might activate these more, but because your acorns aren't that easy to come by um, and they're points at the end of the game, so you want to use them sparingly. Another way you can um, use your acorns, which uh, I did use it a lot, is the cards ref when there's no cards left here, you automatically draw four more cards. So that's a that's free. That costs nothing. But say you don't really, because near the end of the game, you're going to be limited to what you need. Because you've already, say these were out near the end of the game, ones and zeros. You're not going to need ones and zeros. So if you want to pull out four more cards, you would pay an acorn and you would just draw four cards. And if they're the same color, you just stick them on top of the pile. So that would give you some more options, um, possibly, that you might be able to use. Um, and then you still have to take a pile. You don't get to, that's always, you either have to take a pile, play leaf cards in your area, or um, activate an objective. You have to do one of those actions every turn. So, um, but the good thing is, if you can't use them, at least you can discard them as an optional free action um, for, an, for an acorn. So that's, that's a good thing. So did I just, I think I explained everything, right? One thing you missed out. What did I miss? Max hand size is eight. Oh, yeah. You start with six. We draw six to each player. So that's another thing. You have to discard down um, if you get over eight. Okay, you're first. Okay. So I was the last person to pick up a leaf. So. Did a leaf come in the house? <laughs> okay, I do the yard. <laughs> I'm not just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Yeah, it's kind of hard to, for me to do yard work since I disabled my back in the military. I'm going to take that pile. And I am not going to do an optional action right now. Sorry. I was looking at my okay. landscape. It's your turn. I'm going to have to keep this here. I have horrible memory on things like that. Okay. So I'm going to play. You already you took your pile, right? 
What? Did you take a pile? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to play these two zeros, so that's one number. And I actually don't have another play that I can do, so I'm going to end my turn. So I'm doing this. I have a zero and a one and one, so. And you don't, you pile them on top of each other. You don't fan them because that's part of this game is not knowing how many cards another player, neither you nor another player can count the cards in your piles. That's part of the game. It's a mem memorizing what they played in their stack. So that's a no-no. You only do that here in the column or in the display. But we're, we're just showing so. Okay, so I'm going to take that stack and oh wait i am going to activate my landscape to get that back <laughs> so i get to take one card from a column the top card and i get two two acorns from the supply i activated this landscape I'm going to take three. Okay, so he's drawn. He's activated. Three, four. Oh, wait, you can't. You're going to do your main action first. Oh. Then you can do your optional. Okay, so now that those are empty. Okay, so now he can activate if he wants. He can activate his landscape. And I will because I still need him. Oh, I need to discard a card. Okay, so I got four. Hard choice. Wow. Didn't help me much. Just had that one. I didn't realize I had nine cards. Yeah, I got nine too. Okay. Just now. Right. So my turn. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm going to play two zeros and two ones. Let's see. I'm going to be done. All right, I am going to. Oh, yeah. and I, I matched an acorn. So I get two acorns for that. Get rid of this. And I'm also using this. So I get three, right? Okay. Uh, collect up to three of the top cards from yeah, different columns. Yep, so. up to three if you want. Um, yeah. I am going to pay three acorns to activate that objective. So I'm hoping that I will get the most zeros by the end of the game. And then that was my regular action. Then I can do an optional action if I'd like. Which I might do. Yeah, I'm going to do this. I take the top leaf card off of a column and a display, and I get two acorns. So that means this refreshes. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm doing this right. Okay, so I'm doing one zero, one zero, and that's my second number. Yep. Remember, you don't stack them. Oh, yeah. And you match two acorns. Yep. So you get two. I wasn't, that wasn't intentional, but. <laughs> I, mine surprised me as well. <laughs> you do anything else? Nope. Okay. So. Oh, actually, yeah, I will. 
Now that I see that. I'm taking this, these two, and this one. Okay. I'm going to take this one and then and I'll take this top leaf card and I get two more acorns. Okay, I'm doing these. I get two more acorns. Your turn. So I'm going to play my three twos, top of that pile. And I'm going to do this one again. Take that one, and I get two acorns. So see, these actually are beneficial to keep using for me because I'm gaining an acorn every time by doing it. So that's actually very beneficial. My turn. Mm -hmm. So yeah. he played a zero and a one. Okay. If I get in a bind, this one will allow me to skip over a number. But I am just going to play this three and close out that pile. My turn. Um, yeah, and get two acorns. I need to trade some in. All right, well, while you're doing that, I'm going to do this. So, one, two. Oh, you played two ones and two twos? No, two threes. Two threes? Yeah. This one, this one, this oh, one. Oh, three twos. Three twos. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, trading yours in. Yeah. Okay. So we're collecting the acorns this time. All right. I'm going to pay an acorn to put four more cards out here. Kind of stuck. And that is what I needed. Okay. Okay, I'm going to play a zero and a one. And let's see. I'm going to use this ability. Take this card and I get two acorns back. Well, I actually have to do first. So. Place this. And I'm doing this. He gets to draw four cards and keep three of them, discard one. Well, that was the most waste of acorn. <laughs> you gotta discard one. I know. I don't think it matters. I think they're all... None of them benefit me. <laughs> so I'm playing a one, then I'm gonna play a two and a two. My turn. Correct. That's yeah. the way to do it. Yeah, my turn. Okay. Or I'm doing this one. I actually have to do move first. Okay, so I'll get a corn. Okay, so he discarded two to get an acorn. Did I replace it or did? No, you took it back. All right, replacing it. Okay, trying it again. Drawing four, discarding one. Got more of the ones I needed. Other. All right. Okay, I'm going to activate an objective and hope that I end up with the most acorns at the end. You done? I'm done. All right. Okay, I'm going to play this one. 
and that act, that triggers game end because we used all the Tories. Um, so now we each get one more turn. Activate this. Actually, since you were first player and I just finished, I still get one more turn after you, huh? Do you? Yeah. Okay. So I turned this in. I'm going to do this. Take one card. <laughs> and I get Why you take both? two acorns back. I need uh I'm playing that. <laughs> All right. Well, you can play that anyway. Yeah, but it's something you get that so I can four oh, new cards. We can play an acorn. Yes, look. You can play an acorn to get four new cards. Yeah, but that wouldn't benefit me. <laughs> All right. All right, so. We're done scoring. I get one more turn. You were first player. I'm last. It said including the person that triggered the game. Yeah. The game ends, including player, including the one who triggered in the game, plays a final turn. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So I'm just going to discard that and I get three acorns. Oh, wait, no, I have to take an action. So I'm going to play this, discard those two, which means I would get four acorns because I get two for the cards and two extra. So that's my turn. All right. Okay. So now um, we do the final scoring. So we count our greens. I had one times three, so I only get three points from my green pile. So three times six. Okay, so he gets 18. Yellow. 18 points for my yellow, because it's three on top times six. Yeah, three points. It's really we're tied. Uh, orange, we are not playing with. The red. 15 for my red. Yeah, 15. Uh-oh, we are neck and neck tied. We didn't play the purple, so brown, I have six points. I have six. Really? We are exactly tied. So it's down to the objectives and our acorns. Okay, so I have five, six, seven, eight, nine in acorns. I have four. Okay, then we score our objectives. So I get 10 points for having most acorns. How many yeah. zeros do you have? Well, I had 10 points for the green. Yeah, but we're not, I know. But how many zeros do you have? Five. Five. Oh, we're tied. One, two, three, four, so he gets three, I get 10. So I got a total of 20 for my objectives. He has three. He definitely has the most green. So he gets uh, 13. 13. And we didn't activate this one, so nobody gets it. No one owned it. So 21, 36, 42, 13 points. 71. I think so. So. Yeah, the landscapes um, definitely give it more replayability and variety. The different landscapes. So it was 71 to 59. Uh, yeah, I will definitely agree. The landscapes make all the difference because we just played the beginner game, the first game, and it was it was 
okay one it was frustrating because we weren't really sure if we were playing it right because of that one vague rule they left out so it was like like we don't even know if we're playing this right so we anthony watched it <laughs> probably every video on youtube available and then <laughs> including oh, the internet including the international ones we had no idea what they were saying but you could tell from the actions <laughs> of that what they were doing so that was helpful so if you ha if this helps you Please write thank you. <laughs> I just saved you many hours. He spent a lot of time. So, uh, so it was more fun, this game, one, because we knew that, and we did it the, the way you're supposed to do it with drafting and the landscape. So, because there's a big stack of them um, to choose from. So, and they're let, they go through A through N. So, there's a lot of them, and they're really some really cool like this these are kind of overpower the ones i got that's what helped me win the game because i'm literally getting two acorns every time even it goes through and there are some duplicates that are like b that have different type of uh, abilities mm -hmm. so so yeah in the beginner game you're playing with abc you have the exact same one so it was kind of eh. but i will say this made it way more fun having the landscapes of of variable powers so we each had our own um abilities and it did make it more fun to like i couldn't have ended better where i ended discarding my last two cards and gaining two extra acorns it kind of gave me that extra boost so my two that i had were awesome i literally was trading in one acorn for two acorns this was my every time and getting a free acorn um the four cards and yeah you get to keep three. that's a good one too that so, helped me out a lot so it was so once you understand the rules, this is a good game. Um, just know that that's the only one that might trip you up. Um, but beyond that, it is it is a good game. I can't, like I said, it was out on Kickstarter last year. Um, so hopefully this video helped you to, one, learn how to play this game, and two, um, figure out if it's a game you would want to get for yourself. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Please give us a like. Feel free to comment. If it helped you, please tell Anthony thank <laughs> you for all of his hours he spent watching videos. <laughs> and we look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>